like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us If we just hold on tight This vision that I saw Is getting closer every dawn It is, well, I'm sure you've seen a moonrise, but it's absolutely beautiful tonight. The full moon coming up over Palma. So Nothing like a good old moonrise. So, having just arrived at Forna Lutes. I'm walking through the streets and now I can absolutely see why it's labeled one of the most beautiful villages in Spain and one of the most beautiful villages in Europe. Walking up to it, I was thinking, okay, yeah, it's a beautiful, serene little place surrounded by the mountains. But then as soon as I got into it and I'm walking through the streets, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get why this place has that reputation. It is amazing. Just to hike up here and take in that view was well worth it. It was totally unplanned. I'm definitely not wearing the apparel for hiking, except for wearing good boots. But like, you know, wearing the sweater, I'm wearing jeans and the jeans are super hot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like a sweaty mess. And you know what? I'd like to say I'm not, but that's reality. I am a sweaty mess right now. But was it worth it? It was so worth it, that view. Oh my gosh, and I could have kept going to like another point. That would have been another 25 to 30 minutes. I just decided not to because I've already been up hiking an hour from the village and I have no water with me. So like this, I definitely wasn't prepared to do a hike today. I am so thirsty, super parched. 
it's better that I get back down to the bottom and drink a gallon of water. But wow, just to like be amongst nature, do this hike and get to that viewpoint and whew, so worth it, so worth it. This is the best part about Mallorca is there's so many hiking trails and like what I just did was super easy. There's like much more intense hiking trails than this. And actually, interesting fact, the boots that I'm wearing right now, these black boots, I actually summited Mount Kilimanjaro with them last year. So these boots have seen some things. I am in Valdemosa. It is a town in the Tramontana Mountains here in Majorca. It has a population of about 2,000 people. We're surrounded by the most incredible mountain landscape. I've never actually come and, you know, checked out the town or done any sort of adventuring around here. So I'm pretty excited to see what it has to offer. But uh, just gonna, yeah, go for a little walk and see what's going on. So here in Valdemosa, every house has one of these painted bricks on it and it's actually representing the life of Saint Catalina Thomas. She was the only Majorcan saint and she was born here in Valdemosa. So every house has one of these bricks and it depicts a scene from her life. And they're all actually really beautiful. Everyone is different and it's just, yeah, it's super interesting. She was born here in 1531 and they celebrated her for years. There was a yearly celebration. I think they don't do it anymore but definitely, yeah, the only Mallorcan saint. I had to stop and get a potato cake because this potato cake is typical for here in Valdemosa and it's actually made with potatoes and they started making it in 1920, so it definitely has some history here. When you break bread in Valdemosa, you break potato cake. quick pick-me-up. So I got a cortado, which is an espresso shot with just a tiny bit of milk. And uh, it's gonna be just a little energy boost I need. And this view is just also like the boost that I think my eyeballs need. There's only about 600 people that live here. So it's a very small community, but wow, very, very big in beauty. Even though walking on these narrow roads, highways, whatever you want to call them, is the way to get around around here, it still feels like dodgy because they're so narrow and they're so windy that people come like over flying around the corner and you know, there's buses, there's just lots of stuff going on. So definitely feels a bit dodgy, but gotta get it done, right? All right, you might be wondering what exactly am I doing? Why was I walking on the highway? Well, I have very good reason because I'm going for a hike. It's a stunning walk. The views get better and better. It gets hotter and hotter, but uh, life is good, guys. I'm excited. As we drive higher and higher, the view gets like more and more amazing. This is insane. So we're seeing Soye again down there. But from here to the sea, and then if I look beyond this tree that's actually right behind me, the sea again. It's just mountains, land, sea, like pretty much like everything you could ever want in one viewpoint is what we got right here. And it's so cool as we see like the windy roads coming through the trees on the sides of the mountains. Living the dream, guys. Living the dream. This is just absolutely breathtaking. This view is just insane, guys.
Today is an exciting day. We're at the Yuk Monastery on the west of the island and this monastery dates back to the 13th century. It is a very big part of Majorca heritage and I wanted to stay here for so long. It's so peaceful. It is super, super cool and it's very beautiful. It's huge. There's so much to this monastery. There's a lookout point just up at the top of the mountain behind the monastery. So I'm actually gonna hike up to the lookout point because apparently the sunset is beautiful from up there. It's almost a 30 minute trek if you're going like a slow pace. So I'm gonna kind of speed walk. But yeah, speed walk up the top of the hill to check out this view. Um, yeah, pretty excited. I love a good sunset. Here's my sandals. Do you remember those times where, well, if you're anything like me and you end up hiking in the wrong <laughs> apparel and shoes, um, that sometimes it's better just to kick your shoes off if they're not the right shoes and do it barefoot. I feel like I get a lot more um, of my bearings if I'm barefoot sometimes. <laughs> We officially made it to Poyanza. Had a little bit of problems finding parking. Had to drive through those super narrow roads. But uh, we're here. And then we're gonna find the old town. But first, coffee. And then after coffee, adventure. Thank you. 